In this video, we're going to take a look at a web challenge that I created for Integrator's Lease Up Live CTF 2024. It's called Pizza Paradise, but I might put it in the warm up section. It's quite an easy challenge and it just depends how many web challenges we get as to which category I put it in. So this is the challenge. You just go through this page. None of the links work, so you can't actually do anything. And very simple. What we want to do here is check the robots.txt file. This will be populated with anything that the web developers don't want search engines to crawl. And there is this file path, which you wouldn't be able to guess or brute force very easily. So it's disallowed. We'll take a copy of that and go to secret. And it takes us this top secret government access portal where we can put in a username and password. So maybe we just try some default credentials. Admin, admin doesn't work. Okay. Let's have a look at the source code. And in here, we'll see that we have a hash password function. So it's going to SHA256, the password we provide, and then it's going to compare it with the credentials.username and credentials.password hash, which are being loaded from the auth.js. So we can go to that file as well. And we'll see in here, we've got a hard-coded username and the valid password hash. So you basically just need to crack this password hash. You go to crackstation.net or whatever your hash hashkiller.co.uk or use hashcat or john or whatever and it's very easy to crack it's in rock U, so the hash is actually let me just do it here so i created this it was intel 420 and then we can pass that to i'm so used to doing grep i was going to do that but no that's not what we want to do there we go shout you five six sum and you'll see that, that one starts nine one yeah it's the same thing so there we go we've cracked the hash and now we can just go and log in with these credentials so it was Agent 133, oh, 1337, Intel 420. There we go, we're in. And now we've got through to this um, authorized personnel only page where we can have a look at some what are supposed to be sensitive images that are generated with Midjourney. Um, nothing particularly interesting here by the looks of it. If we click on download one of these, it will actually download the image. You can see it was called Top Secret. And yeah, that's about it. We don't really have too much here. Let's have a look at the source code. And this time we'll see not too much. We've got a display image, which is just what is being used to change the images in the dropdown. And then, yeah, there's not really too much to look at. We could have a look at the CSS. I don't really see much point in doing that. We can have a look at this. Yeah, it's literally just changing the image. All right, well, let's have a look in Burp Suite and see what's actually happening. Whenever I click on download on one of these images, let's go into Burp and we don't see anything here. You see if I go back again and do that, download. Again, nothing actually shows up in Burp, and that's because by default, it won't actually show images in this HTTP history. So I'm going to go take that. I'm going to apply it. And now we see those three downloads. Let's have a look at one of them. And let me send it to the repeater with Control and R. And then I'll maximize this so we can see it a little better. All right. So we've got this download parameter. It's a get parameter. It's taken in slash asset slash images slash top secret 3.png. Now, something we might want to do, maybe there's a flag. So maybe we can try and go here and say, can we just do like flag.txt and download that, send. And it says the file path is not allowed. So that's interesting. We could go back then. Let me go back here. And maybe if we just keep in the asset slash images, or maybe we could just test this out as well. Let me try and change that images, but file path not allowed. All right. So let's take this out to confirm it. We'll go send on that. That is fine. Okay, it comes back with some error. All right, as long as it didn't disclose the flag, that's cool. So what we want to do here is we need to put in some dot dot slashes. So if I go dot dot slash dot dot slash, that's going to take us back to the root directory. And that is where we would try and find this flag.txt if it was available. It isn't. The file is not found. So this time we didn't get the error saying that the path is not allowed. That's good. We basically need to make sure that we always have this assets slash images because that's what it's going to check for. But it's not checking after that whether we have any traversals and what the file extension is or anything like that. So there's no flag.txt there. And hopefully what you would have thought to do is try and have a look at the source code of some of these PHP files. Maybe one of them has some interesting information. In it. So I'm going to take a copy of that. So we're going back dot dot slash dot dot slash. We're going back to the root directory. We're grabbing the top secret php and then send and now we're downloading the php file which has all of the server side source code in it and in there we will find the flag so that's it i hope you enjoyed this challenge i probably spent more time developing the ui than i did the actual functionality of it but yeah hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments leave them down below thanks